of 35. Looking for something to do this summer? Well, how about checking out some of the art created right here in Manitoba while visiting some of the most picturesque places in our province? The Boreal Shores Art Tour is kicking off this week. Organizers are inviting everyone to see the depth and diversity of artistic talent here in Manitoba and to check out a special project too that was created with the launch of the first tour last year. Janice Charco is one of the organizers of the Boreal Shores Art Tour. She joins me now in studio. Hi Janice. Hi. Thank you for joining me today. I'm happy to be here. First explain for those who are not familiar, what is the Boreal Shores Art Tour? Boreal Shores Art Tour is a self-guided driving tour um, that features artist studios and group locations uh, stretching from um, the White Shell Provincial Park in the south through East Braintree, Rennie, White Mouth, Victoria, River Hills, Seven Sisters, Pinawa, Lac de Bonnie, Pine Falls, and the East Shore Beaches, Victoria Beach, Albert Beach. Um, there are 46 artists this year at 22 different stops. So it stretches over two days, August 18th and 19th, and the public is invited to come and visit as many stops as they can work in and stay overnight maybe at one of our bed and breakfasts in the area and pick up some beautiful art. This is a really cool concept because this is marrying two things, uh, Mm -hmm. the art community and also a chance to check out our province. How did that idea come about? Uh, Well, it was a bright idea (laughs) two years ago. Um, It's not necessarily unique. I mean, the Wave Interlake Tour has been going on. They just finished their 17th um, first uh, session for the year. Um, But we were thinking of an art demonstration day and how we could have artists all over uh, creating their art and having the public look at them. And then people said, well, you know, we tried to have an art tour out here and it's never really gone. And we thought, well, then let's give it a really good try. So we formed a nonprofit organization. And last year was the first year and it was such a success. We had 600 people who traveled the route. Uh, We had 34 artists last year and 46 this year. So we've grown quite a bit. Um, And this art project that's being unveiled on Wednesday, tomorrow, uh, was part of the whole plan for the first year. It's a it's a three foot by six foot mosaic. Uh, Pinawa photographer Stu Iverson donated the photograph. It's a boreal photograph of uh, water and trees and rocks. Uh, it was blown up and then cut into 648 two inch squares. And each member of the public who was willing to give it a shot was given one of these squares and then a similar sized piece of primed wood, some paints and some brushes, and their job was to paint what they saw on this little two-inch square. So then over the course of the winter, the 648 squares have been put together and framed, and all the names of the people who painted are there. So you can actually find the square that you painted. And it's being unveiled tomorrow in Whitemouth at the community centre where it's going to live for the foreseeable future. That's just absolutely incredible. I mean, that's really cool that you were able to incorporate people who were going out on the tour, checking out the art last year into uh, uh, what should be a really neat looking art piece. It is. It really is. Um, you know, some people's vision is a little different than other people's visions. And you see that when you look at this mosaic. But uh, we had, you know, senior citizens and little kids and everyone in between sitting at this table, giggling their way through uh, their first painting experience in many cases. So yes, it was great. What does this say about the art community and and the way that Manitobans respond to art? I mean, with all the different shows and then wanting to be a part of this project. Um, You know, we found that the public are really excited when they get the opportunity to see some original art. People uh, raved about the tour last year. We, We have passports that they get stamped at each stop and they can put comments on them and tell us what they liked and what they didn't like. And um, our comments were so positive. People coming in were so excited to be able to talk to the artists themselves and find out, you know, how do you do this? How do you create this? What made you think of doing this? Um, and, and it spreads then, you know, because you get younger people who, who have dabbled at home and think, well, I could do this. I could set up shop here and see if people like my work. And, and, so, and that's how it goes. That's how it grows. What are some of the the pieces that people are, I mean, you're you're holding a little bit of a sneak peek on Wednesday, but what are some of the pieces that people can expect to see um, on the tour this time around? 
We have painting, um, all manners of painting, acrylic, oil, watercolor, alcohol ink. Um, we have drawing. We have pottery, jewelry, fiber art, uh, wood, quite a bit of wood, wood carving, wood turning, um, Oh, a glass. We have fused glass, several glass makers, actually. Um, I'm sure. Oh, we have one fellow who makes his own knives. Beautiful, oh. beautiful knives mm -hmm. uh, with bone and carved handles and and finely honed blades. Um, and that's an art in itself. So it's, it's very, um, there's a lot of variety. So it's functional. It's also um, what I would call display art for your walls. But you'll also find things for your kitchen and things for your closet. Now, you mentioned that people can purchase some of these these uh, works of art. It's all for sale during the tour. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Now, let's talk about the event tomorrow night. You mentioned okay. it's at the White Mouth Community Center. Uh, what can people do tomorrow night? It, it's tomorrow actually afternoon. It's tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. Um, the mosaic has been uh, hung in the White Mouth Community Center. It will be covered with a black drape when they arrive. And we will have a formal unveiling of the mosaic. Um, we will also have this year's brochures, which I've, I've got some for you here, um, that we'll be distributing to people. And the artists, many of the artists on the tour are going to be there themselves. So it will be an opportunity to rub shoulders with the artists and find out what it is that they're planning on having. I should also say that the mosaic, while it's going to hang in the White Mouth Community Club, um, during the two days of this year's tour, it's being removed from there and it's being put at one of the stops on the tour, but we're not telling where it is. Oh. So it's a bit of a treasure hunt. You have to find the mosaic. And when you do, you get an extra stamp on your passport that might move you up, you up into a, a higher level of qualifying for a better prize at the end of the, at the, end of the weekend. Oh my gosh, that sounds like so much fun. And it I, is. and you are also going to find another project, right? For for yes. folks, yeah. we have a new project this year, different um, painting again, but uh, we're not going to tell too much. Mm -hmm. You have to come and go on the tour to find out about it. Oh my goodness, this sounds like so much fun! So the event tomorrow's at two p.m. Yes, it is at and the White Mouth Community Center. Yes, and there will be some light refreshments uh, served, cookies and drinks and things, and. Um, and you get to have a good close look at the mosaic and find the little square that you painted. Now, when does the tour uh, begin and when does it end? The tour begins on August 18th at 10 in the morning uh, till 5 o'clock that day and then again the next day. So that's a Saturday and Sunday. So two full days and you will be hard pressed to do the entire route in two days because it's a very long route. Mm -hmm. um, but what we're banking on is that people, if they can't complete the whole route, that's going to motivate them to come back next year. What a lot of fun. This sounds like a fantastic tour. Good luck with the event tomorrow night, Janice. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Janice Charco is one of the organizers for the Boreal Shores Art Tour. Again, the kickoff takes place tomorrow afternoon, 2 o'clock at the White Mouth Community Centre.